Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing great. I just wanted to do a short video on Tonori Otsutsuki and share a couple of reasons why I believe he's going to make an appearance in the story real soon. Um, first things first, over these last two chapters in Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, um, the opening plot has been centered around Otsutsuki related themes such as the Ten Tails and Karma. Um, Code invades the Hidden Leaf village in chapter 1 and we all know his reasons is not only to destroy the village but also he needs um, Boruto or Kawaki's body um, as a sacrifice for his Ten Tails in order for him to gain that chakra fruit um, to eventually become an Otsutsuki himself and follow in the footsteps of Ishiki. And for Boruto on Kawaki's side, um, Boruto's fighting for not only his name, his village, his friends, but to gain you know his life back. And Kawaki is just um, on a hate train on anything related to the Otsutsuki. And so chapter two follows in that similar vein, but now we get a little bit more information on the Ten Tails and that somehow code has tampered with this particular ten tails and it's gonna lead to the the end of the world and so um you can kind of tell that kishimoto has started um with this two chapters with the backdrop of the otatsuki and that as the chapters start going on we're gonna start gaining more um, knowledge more information on the otatsuki and maybe even the introduction of other otatsukis alongside you know the likes of tonori momoshiki shibai etc why should Tonori make an appearance in the story is a valid question that anybody should ask. The reason why Tonori is, uh, should make an appearance is because Tonori is an ally of Naruto and Hinata. Obviously he was the link that brought Naruto and Hinata together. I know that some will say that's not true. Um, Hinata and Naruto have were destined to be together ever since um, they met each other way back during their days in the academy. But what I mean by um, Tonori being that connecting bridge between the two of them is because he was the, um, the antagonist in the movie the last and also he was the final bridge for naruto you know to understand his feelings for hinata and eventually them two come together and obviously tonori as we all know during the plot of that movie he wanted to marry hinata because he was the last um, surviving otatsuki and that hinata was going to be you know the surviving um, link for his clan and so Tonori is not only an ally for Naruto and Hinata and by extension to Boruto and Himawari but also he has all the information about the Otsutsuki that he can share and reveal to Boruto because obviously as we all know eventually Boruto is going to have to fight these Otsutsuki who have been a threat to humanity since um, the beginning of you know the story and as we all know last chapter of, part, of Boruto part 1 with the reveal of Ada's power of omnipotence we realize something that Momoshiki said in the end of the chapter is that not only is omnipotence is a move that Otsutsuki have but also it's uh, irreversible and that it's something that uh, Otsutsuki have been using on humanity um, for a long time and so clearly the Otsutsuki are an element that have been manipulating humanity since the beginning of time and clearly they're going to be have they're going to be the final bosses of this story and so based on these last two chapters and you know this backdrop of the Otsutsuki clearly Kishimoto's kind of gone in the direction of a hey, we're going to have to cover the Otsutsuki theme and explore their weaknesses because so far everything that's been Otsutsuki related they seem to be a group of parasites aliens you know um, whatever you want to call them they've been pretty much unstoppable and somehow we're gonna have to find out more about their weaknesses and so a character like Tonori can kind of come in and he can be objective because he's not he doesn't care about the politics of humanity like say for example um, somebody like Amado who is a scientist but he uses his skills in order to further his own interest as we all know he said he lost his daughter um, due to you know some of the stuff that was going on during the shinobi war but also he has his own hit, hidden interest that we don't know yet and then you have the likes of momoshiki who's the otatsuki that resides within boruto but all he cares about is trying to get boruto's body so he's all about his own self-interest whereas tonari can be objective and be uh, somebody that's able to share his knowledge to Boruto and you know whoever else is on Boruto's side without um, expecting anything in return and so those are my reasons why I believe Tonori is going to make an appearance real soon and I think as its chapters start going um, further we're going to start seeing more revelations about the Otsutsuki and because Boruto has the ability now to use space travel I wouldn't be surprised if Boruto is able to travel to Tonori's dimension because um, three years has passed 
since Boruto the Hidden Leaf Village and so he should have more of a command of his own powers and so it should you know draw or bring us closer to um, seeing more dimensions and more uh, more of the story taking place you know in different locations like even different planets um, those are my opinions on why I believe Tonori is going to make an appearance in the story what do you guys think about Tonori do you think he'll make an appearance do you think he's somebody that's like a filler character and he shouldn't be regarded being in the story I'd love to hear what you guys think please share your thoughts and opinions leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day